Good morning. We will present uh, the, pre the paper titled Designing a Multiscale and Multidimensional Assessment for a New National Educational Context. This presentation uh, we are going to divide in following uh, these uh, four following parts introduction, the new learning context, a brief explanation about the, the, the methodology that we have developed, the NCL assessment, and finally, uh, what are wo uh, working now with the uh, assessment of the NCL. As we will see in the day below, we are in front of an educational innovation project that aims to improve the training of LASAI students at any of their educational levels. In this sense, it is necessary to remember that currently uh, the Arlep district that includes all LASAI centers in Spain, Portugal and Andorra, and it has around more or less uh, 120 institutions that cover infant, uh, primary, secondary, high schools and training centers, along with two universities in Madrid and Barcelona, in total, more or less, uh, is training about 80,000 of students. In 2014, at the district assembly, a decision was made to carry out an educational and pedagogical improvement that affects all levels. A working group was created that in the following four years until 2018 focuses on designing the new pedagogical approach under the name of New Learning Context, in Spanish, Nuevo Contexto de Aprendizaje. Approved in assembly in 2018 and based on the values of La Salle, the, the necessary curriculum of each institution and educational level, and in new pedagogical approach focus on optimal development of specific and transversal competencies. Generating a new pedagogical framework requires an evaluation that allows monitoring and identifying both positive and negative process and thus being able to add, correct, improve or strengthen them. Conductively, this approach is highly innovative and requires more specific work teams with a scientific knowledge of the necessary evaluation process. For this reason, in 2019, the two universities of La Salle, Madrid, more focused in the field of education, and Barcelona focused on the technological field, develop an evaluation model of the NCL implementation that presents the current paper and the presentation. In order to evaluate the NCL implementation, it is essential to know the areas that this method proposes and that are divided into five main uh, aspects that transcend the subjects and subjects, generating a transversity in the functioning of learning and acquisition of content. The areas and process are explained in detail in the paper, and the challenge of designing an evaluation process is that it is up to them at any level and educational phase. For this reason, the designing of the evaluation has been created from the need to evaluate five major issues, processes, methodology, people, results, and learnings, and their interim connections, which entails evaluation, talking, discussion, and designing the method jointly with different actors for its concept. In some cases, we need to uh, talk with uh, families, in other moments with teachers, with uh, uh, directions of the schools, uh, with the students. Each action or process is covered within a sphere or interrelated with a closed one that any process is covered by the evaluation model. You can see here the model that we have designed. For this reason, um, this slide collects the process developed in time phases one and two, so in the paper. Over the last year, a dialogue was established by the La Salle University with, with the district and its area. We have in Spain six different areas in order to define its field of uh, action and the necessary actors to uh, maintain and to create and to develop the assessment. Future work from this point uh, is to start testing the graded assessment instruments in this month of October 2020. The pilot tests of three instruments are being carried out. One focused on the NCL evaluation in primary schools, another for the training of teachers in the field of robotics, and a third one for the evaluation of the digital competencies of the schools. Based on the results obtained, the evaluation instruments will be redefined and improved in order to carry out a second round of pilots in the second semester of the academic year 2021, allowing the final NCL evaluation instrument to be obtained at the end of 2021. 
at which time global implementations begin in primary school, pilots in secondary school and various phases at university level. Thank you so much. We are in this process in the current state. And if you have any question, we will be welcome. Thank you so much. Happy New Day.